I'm not drunk. You're drunk, you mother. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Season 4, Episode 11, Split Personality. As always, we got that fantastic intro. And then we get to the Crypt Keeper segment. And he's playing poker. He's got one of those old timey visors on. And he says something like, Oh, kiddies, this episode is very spooktacular and full of nudity and violence. Get your parents permission to watch. <laughs> <sighs> I saw that and I was just like, Oh, shit. Right on. Spoiler alert. It's uh it's on par with all the other episodes that have gore and nudity in them. Like before I excuse me. <laughs> before I started rewatching all these, I had a memory of Tales from the Crypt just full of nudity, titty laden, as some would call it. It has not been the case. So uh, this one stars Joe Pesci, written by Fred Decker, and uh, directed by Joe Silver, one of the uh, producers of this television show. So it starts out in Las Vegas, some dude's sitting at a, uh, a poker table, I guess. I'm not a big gambler, a card player, or anything like that. So uh, he's like, oh, shit. I need some money for my kid's operation. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have bet all this. God damn it. And then Joe Pesci overhears him and says, hey, oh, hey, you make that bet. He's going to throw down there that card that you need. And, oh, your boy's going to get that kidney operation there. I don't know why Joe Pesci all of a sudden sounds like Bob Forster, but. I guess he does. Hey, you oh, kind of like this more. Hey, yeah. Little better. Still not great. Anyways, dude wins the money. Turns out uh, Joe Pesci and the dealers in cahoots. Joe Pesci gets the guy to win all the money to write him a check for a deal that just can't lose. And it's just all a scam. So... Joe Pesci scamming. That's what he does. And he's out riding his BMW or driving his BMW one day. And ah, two black cats come out across his path. Oh, my God. So much bad luck. And just then his tire blows out. Gets into a little accident in front of a odd looking house. He just kind of walks in because he's a piece of shit. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> And uh, it turns out this is the house of an architect who died. And uh, a lady comes out, a very sickly looking lady with a gun saying, oh, what are you doing here, you fuck? And then another sickly lady comes out holding a cat, one of those black cats. He's like, hey, I was just in an accident. But he says it more whopped up. And hey, I just want to use your phone. and. Long story short, uh, what's his nuts? Joe Pesci's going to con these two twin sisters. And uh, he says, oh, hey, you know, because he wants their fortune because the deceased architect father left him all this money, blah, 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 blah. So he wants to get the fucking money from him. So he's laying in bed like, hmm, you know, if I marry one of them, I only get half the money. But what if? I marry both. So he comes up with some bullshit story like, oh, yeah, my brother's in South Africa for a month, and then I go there for a month because we have some business dealings, bullshit, bullshit. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be coming back tomorrow. I'm telling him to stop by to introduce himself, but just you know, be aware he doesn't speak as eloquently as I. He's, you know, he's one of those flamboyant Californians. <laughs> so fucking alter ego Joe Pesci comes with like a ponytail, sunglasses, and a fucking hanging cross. 
fucking earring and they find out about the shit. Long story short, they're not happy about it. And it turns out these two weird looking broads killed their father. Ooh, I can't believe it. So, uh, you know, they have old Joe Pesci strapped to the bed and say, oh, we're, you know, we're twins. And, you know, we always got to share things because we're twins and we're tired of sharing things. So uh, one of the ladies comes out with a chainsaw that the gardener was using earlier. <laughs> Fucking gardeners is Chinese dude, and fucking Joe Pesci calls him Charlie Chan and Wong. <laughs> it was just the times, you know. I don't condone it, but it's what they did back then. So yeah, they're standing over him with the chainsaw. It's like, oh, we're tired of sharing stuff. So they cut Joe Pesci in half, starting it as cock and. Work him all the way up until he's split in half vertically. And it closes with each lady in their own room with half of Joe Pesci. And like one of the halves of him, his mouth is shut and the other one's open. That's not really how that would work. The props didn't look terrific, but they were fine for what they were. And then the Crypt Keeper comes back. He's still playing poker. He's just like, hey, any of you guys want your dick sucked? And then we're out. This one was pretty good. I had a lot of laughs. Uh, I noticed Joe Pesci's nose looked like a penis head. <laughs> it looked like he was wearing the Tom Savini's appliance from dusk till dawn or uh, What's his nuts? Uh, Dan Aykroyd from uh, Nothing But Trouble when he had the little penis tip on his nose. Uh, that's his fucking nose. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't see Joe Pesci in much anymore because his nose actually grew into a fucking penis. <laughs> I haven't seen much Joe Pesci shit, you know, Home Alone, like fucking everybody ate heads in a duffel bag and gone fishing. But uh, this shit is like made me think, mm -hmm, I should look into some Joe Pesci movies because I was fucking laughing at all his shit he was doing in this. This was a good one. I don't remember this episode at all. And I thought it was pretty good. So far, I would say, ah, I can't say that because we had that one with uh, Christopher Reeves in the uh, diner. That one's pretty good. But, I mean, this one's up there. I think this is a low-key, underrated, great episode. So, uh, split personality, it's been a while, but we got a fucking good one. So, good for that shit. Oh, excuse me. Can't see what I'm doing here, but uh, just trying to scroll through so I can tell you to head to dwnproductions.net, masks, bus, props, custom work, all stuff that I make. So if you want something custom made, maybe you want a custom Joe Pesci penis tip nose, maybe I'll do it for you, but pro I'll probably do it because I'll laugh. If you specifically say I want a fucking penis tip Joe Pesci nose. <laughs> And head on over to Fast Custom Shirts. Hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs. Most ranging from uh, $12 to $18. 18 if you're a larger gentleman or lady in the 5X area. So uh, if you need some custom shirts, hit them up too. And I don't know when this is airing but or when you're watching this. But as of this recording, one of my movies, Race War the Remake, is on Tubi. So check that out if you want to. So, yeah, uh, who knows what the next episode will bring, but at least this one was pretty good. So if you enjoyed this every Monday right here on the YouTube channel, do a podcast with the proprietor of Fast Custom Shirts. And uh, we just talk about the movies we watched that week and uh, Blu-rays we picked up and all kinds of genre related fair so if you liked whatever this is go check that out or don't but always remember to boy god